corals are usually able to adapt to changing circumstances given enough time. And that is partly due to the way they reproduce. After the first full moon in October, the great synchronized coral spawning event begins. Hundreds of species release sperm and eggs into the ocean. Just as pollen from plants is blown far and wide by the wind, so coral spawn is swept away by the ocean currents. And at the same time, under the same moonlight, the corals will spawn here in the laboratory tanks. Using red light so as not to disturb the process, scientists wait for the moment of release. And when it finally happens, they move fast to collect the sperm and the eggs. It's their one chance to get all the samples they need for a year's worth of research. In the ocean, there is the potential for different species of coral to breed with each other. So here, scientists wonder if you might be able to produce a new kind of coral that proves more successful in the changing waters of the reef. Scientists aim is to use selective breeding to produce strains of coral that are able to withstand the worst effects of climate change. And to use them to bring life back to the worst affected part of the reef.